All right, I'm Dan with Proactive Pest Control, and today we are inside of a vacant rental home that belongs to one of our customers, and they called us the other day and said that they are having a roach issue here, and this is something that we deal with on a pretty regular basis in terms of dealing with German roaches, and I'm going to show you um, how to do a German roach treatment and some things that you want to watch out for. You can see a couple of roaches on the wall there. Um, this is the main front door where we walked into the house and the uh, past two or three times that I came in through this door then the roaches were falling um, out from the top part of the door where the threshold is. So there may not be the, any there now but let's go ahead and open the door and see if there's any activity or any running around. And there currently is not uh, just because they came up when I opened the door the other times but uh, you can see kind of this uh, groove area around the weather stripping. So in situations where you have uh, a lot of German roaches, they'll actually hide behind this weather stripping here. Um, there's a little space back behind there where they can hide and that's what they were doing when I first came in. Um, so we're gonna walk into one of the other rooms here. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things here. First of all, the homeowner, um, the, uh, the landlord, I should say, they tried to do the treatment themselves and they used some bombs. You can see the fogger here that they used and they have fogged it uh, two or three times from what he said and things have not gotten any better. With German roaches, uh, we don't use foggers as a pest control company, but with German roaches, uh, it might help knock them back a little bit to make them a little bit more manageable, but you still typically have to follow up with a uh, with uh, some sort of a liquid and bait treatment. So this right here, um, I'm just going to show you real quick. This is one of our vacuums that we use on German roach jobs. And this is a HEPA vac. And uh, what we do is we go around and we vacuum up as many roaches as we can find and then also roach eggs as well, actually egg capsules. And uh, this just helps us get a, uh, a handle on the situation a lot faster than somebody who doesn't use the vacuum. Um, again, this is a HEPA vac, so when you're vacuuming up roaches, you don't want to do it with a standard vacuum just because it can grind up their uh, body parts and kind of blow all that debris back into the, uh, into the air, which you will then possibly breathe in, and that can definitely be very bad for you. So if you're going to vacuum up roaches and roach eggs, make sure you have some sort of a HEPA filtration system. Another thing that I want to point out here is uh, you can see these spots on the wall here. This right here tells you that there was pretty heavy activity inside this house. Um, that's the uh, fecal matter from the German roaches. So that's what that looks like. And in the uh, kitchen area, when I walked in there a little while ago, as soon as you walk into the kitchen, there's a very distinct smell. Um, it's really hard to describe, but once you've been in a few German roach situations, then it's uh, very easily identifiable and it just... Uh, basically indicates that there's very heavy activity inside of the house whenever you smell that smell. Um, this door right here, I have not opened yet. Looks like a uh, double door, but I'm gonna go ahead and open this door and I can already see some roaches that are hanging out on the top here. I don't know if you can see them in the, in the video or not. And we're gonna see uh, what kind of activity and movement we have around this door when we open it. So let me unlock the door here. We'll keep an eye on the top. Alright, that side isn't bad. There's a few in the corner here running across the top. Um, so they like to hang out in little cracks and crevices. And then I think this other side was a little bit worse. And I can't really get this side open, but you can see them there's one, there's one. So they're up on top of the ledge there of the door. Um, so essentially what you would do is whenever you do a German roach treatment, <clears throat> again, foggers are not really that effective. If you start out with a fogger, then you might wanna use that just to make it a little bit more manageable. But you always have to follow up with some sort of a liquid treatment. Typically the liquid treatments have a uh, lot longer longevity. Uh, you want to use adulticide type of products and then also growth regulators as well and then also bait products. Bait products are very important when you are dealing with German roaches. Um, so you want to use a combination of products. In a situation like this, 
Uh, you can't uh, really see too many of them running around. However, you can tell again by the spots on the wall that there is heavy activity here. So it's going to be a little bit of a process. It's not a one-time treatment. It's not something you're going to get rid of immediately. You have to um, also take into effect that with German roaches, they do lay a lot of eggs and egg sacs. And so even if you do kill and take care of what's here, there are going to be lots of eggs that are uh, in various places and they're going to hatch over time. So for that reason alone, it will be a little bit of a process. Um, the uh, basically you can get rid of what's here and then uh, things might appear better and then you may have a little bit of a re-emergence with the eggs that are hatching so uh, you know in a situation like this you may be looking at two or three different treatments but again you want to use liquid products uh, mainly around the edges and the corners and the baseboards using adulticide products and then also growth regulators and of course the baits that I talked about typically they come in tubes and they're in a uh, like a gel type of format and you definitely want to follow the instructions and all of those products and the gel product will let you know how to use it but typically you do uh, spots of bait uh, every you know 12 to 24 inches or something you'll do a spot of bait and all of those products in combination with each other and also in combination with using the HEPAVAC uh, will lead to uh, you know basically success with trying to get rid of the German roaches so it's not really any one product that works and it's not a uh, not a one-time treatment again it's a few different things and a little bit of a process so uh, we are going to go ahead and get started on this German roach treatment here and uh, see how quickly we can get it under control thank you for watching